Hello. What is going on, guys? I am Numbnex to bring you guys back another NPA match. Week 10, battling the Hampshire Haunters. Uh, a lot of difficulties with match because um, I had to. Little technical difficulties with my 3DS, so that's why the video is going a little late here. Apologize for that, guys. It's been a pretty busy day. Uh, if you guys are doing something, like, subscribe. Love to hear criticism down below. Again, I'm pretty rusty. You guys saw my showing a video, so I'm going to be working towards loosening the rust here. Uh, going into the match, Durant is stupid, stupid scary, uh, as well as Volcanion. So I figured to bring a physically defensive Scizor SD set. And I also figured, hey, why not? Let's try a specially defensive Water Absorb Quagsire. That way that we can stop this Volcanion. I think this is actually be one of the few weeks where I actually religiously tried to build a team here. I really wanted to get this team going. And I just really wanted to get a win because I'm tired of losing because I know that I could have won most of the matches that I lost this season if you look back at them. So, uh, we're going to get into it though. I figured Liz of Frost, so I lead off with my Mesprit here. And I looked at his team and he has nothing that actually moves rocks whatsoever at all. So, in my mind, I'm like, cool, I get rocks up. I don't care if he thunder waves or shadow balls or anything. Sets up a layer of spikes. I don't know how I feel about that. That could be a little annoying. But I guess we'll just see where it goes from now. He actually goes for Toxic here, maybe expecting a switch. I don't know if he thought that I'd go to Quag here now on the setup. I don't know what he expected there, but I figured I'll just, you know, swap out right now. Reveals Curse Body, so that's that's interesting. But I'm going to bring on my Scizor here. I literally saw this opportunity. I'm like, if it has no HP fire, I literally win. So <laughs> I win the game here if I just click SD. But I figured I just want to kill it. Off chance he has HP fire, I just want to kill it. So he's dead. <laughs> Huge lead in my favorite ready, 6-5. It's been a while since so I've had a 6-5 lead right after bat. So we're going to go right into it there. He's going to bring up the Volcanion here. This mod is extremely scary because I feel like he has Bloom Doom in Power Grass. So I don't want to mess with that at all. I'm going to get out of here and go right onto the Mesprit. Kind of figuring out what he wants to do here. Goes for Steam Rush and playing it safe rather than Fire Blast. Got to respect that. Does about like 30 five 37% there so that shows me that he's not specs right there I don't know what he is he might be scarfed I don't necessarily understand what he is but it shows me that he's not specs and I was really fearing specs here but I'm gonna go over to Thunder Wave regardless I want my to be able to outspeed that mon once I set up my SD so I want that thing slowing down it brings up the Meow Stick here that's fine I mean Meow Stick really isn't scary he has Prankster T-Wave so it's a little annoying but I'm already poisoned so what more can you do to me here I uh, set the reflect here, I guess, because he's kind of fearing my scissor here, which is really my only physical threat. So I'm going to go for a U turn. It still does a considerable amount of damage there. And I'm going to get out of there and go right back out into scissor here. I highly doubt that he even expected a scissor to be coming this week. Says so Volcanion and Manaphy. So I figured I'm just going to set up an SD. I don't think that he has a uh, hidden power fire at all. And here's, here, here's where I was, first off, mind you, I'm still recording this too. At like 8 23 p.m it was going up tonight i haven't slept in two days so you're gonna see some plays where i haven't slept right like there's rest plays and there's no sleep plays and these are definitely no sleep plays but i'm making i've been recording all day content for you guys so yeah if you see some bulked up content where i make mistakes yeah it's because i'm tired i double swap here i double swap out here into quagstar expecting this uh volcanion here I knew that it wouldn't do it because of the amount of damage, so I figured I'll do that. And then I'm going to swap again, trying to see if he has the uh, the Bloom Doom Hidden Power Grass. He does not. He just shows Hidden Power Grass. So I don't think he clicked Bloom Doom. I think he just did it. Just did it. Maybe he doesn't even have Bloom, uh, the Grass MZ at all. Bloom Doom. I don't know. I expected it for the most part of this match. Um, he's probably Scarfed. I don't even know. Uh, he's going to bring out the Meow Stick here, though, as I'm just going to go for a safe Psychic there. Trying to get some damage off of the 2k from the range he was at. Um, he told me that's a crit. That's not a crit from that Psychic at all. And he also told me the following U-turn may have been a crit as well. I wasn't really paying attention to it at the time. Uh, but he's paralyzed. He can't move. It's unfortunate. I'm going to set up a U-turn, though. Set up a U-turn. Um, it was a crit there, Ashley. So that's pretty unfortunate there because Reflect was up. So you probably would have been able to live that. Unfortunate is unfortunate because he just got Parax to a crit, which sucks a lot of dick. He's going to bring out the Durant, though. I don't have Flamethrower or Fire Punch on this thing. I just didn't. I, I know Durant is a threat, but I have Quagsar and Scizor, so I should be able to outbulk it, theoretically. 
I'm gonna bring up Mesprit here just to see what type of Durant that is. I know he's gonna like Ike Caesar here, but I wanna see what kind of he is. Banded, Life Orb. Don't see any Life Orb, so maybe it's Banded. I don't know. We're gonna figure that out here soon. I feel like he's locked in, maybe. So I figured he can't touch me whatsoever at all. I'm gonna set up a Freeze SD. Now, what I should have done after this play, after this SFD I'm setting up right now, I should have probably set up another SD rather than attack the following turn. That way, that it would have been plus four. But I get a little cheeky here. Uh, it's not like it really mattered. It's just I have no attack investment whatsoever at all. Max H, max defense. So I eat this body slam. And I thought he had fire punch. He doesn't. He has just body slam. That's why I attacked here. I thought he's got fire punch. Shit, YOLO, dude. If I live, I live. If I don't, I don't. Um, but I figured he might want to go for a milk drink here and not want to rely on hacks. So I go for another SD. He's going to body slam. What's annoying about that is he tried to get the bear hacks and he gets it here. So that's a little annoying there, I'm not going to lie. But then again, I can't complain because I Thunder Wave pair hacks him. So he got pair hacks with the crit. So I guess this makes back up for it. Not, 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 I uh, kind of, kind of, kind of. He's already got a pair hacks already with the uh, paralysis, already with the body slam. So I'm going to go for the BP here. Knock out this big chubba lubba. Oh my god, I'd suck on the nips, dude. <laughs> but we're going to knock out that mill tank there. So, so far, my scissor looks like it literally just wins the game. All I need to do is click Bug Bite, but I didn't want to take the risk. I'm like, okay, fuck it. I'll BP. I don't care what happens after here. He Fire Blasts and miss, dude. That is just unfortunate. He misses, man. So, Caesar just don't want to die. I, I feel bad for the Hacks Mock Lab, but it's a part of the game. So, at, this, at the time that it happened, I didn't. So, uh, that happened there. He's going to bring out the Manaphy here. I'm like, cool. All I have to do is click Bug Bite, and it's, all I got to do is click Bug Bite. It's it. I know he wants to tail glow. Don't get parahaxed here. This could be bad. I'm parahaxed. I'm like, all I need to do now is land a bullet punch so I can kill out Psychic. I'm parahaxed. So now we're all even with hacks now. But I'm like, I literally lost the game. I don't do anything. Nobody outspeeds this Manaphy except for Tapu Lele. But I needed the bullet punch damage. It's just like 68 to 78, something like that. And he's like, like 80 something, dude. So, I really needed that bullet punch. I really needed any type of residual damage, as you can see. And I don't get the crit. And he's going to be able to knock out my Lele. So, Manaphy is sweeping me here, dude. This went from, like, a sweep 5-0 from Scizor to now a reverse body bag from this Manaphy. He swaps! He swaps! I don't know why he swaps. I messaged him, and he thought that I was scarfed, and he was afraid of the scarf, and he swapped out. Honest to God, he won this game. He won this game because I got two pair hacks on the Scizor. So he would have literally won the game. He would have literally won the game, but, you know, he swapped out. He felt a little bad about it because he thought that I was scarfed. Um, which, I mean, I guess I can't blame him. I was fighting him Z. So I guess I didn't reveal to him my item. So it's a good bluff. I bluffed the scarf, you could say. I bluffed the scarf. Um, with how I played it, I could actually see how he thought that I'd be scarfed. Um, initially I was gonna bring a Scarf to Electivire, so if I would have gotten my ass beat by that Manaphy, I probably would have killed myself because I really was gonna bring an Electiv uh, Scarf to Electivire, and I'm like, wait a minute, I Miltank is a problematic mod, so that's gonna be it though for the match. I mean, I was shook, I'm not gonna lie. Uh, this match was a, a ton of hacks worthy. I got, he got two pair of hacks on me, which are pretty crucial because he got to set up a Tail Glow and Reverse Sweep me. And then I got a crit on him, which didn't really matter on the Meow Stick. And I think the one that really did matter there was missing the Fire Blast on the Scizor, which in the long term, too, didn't really matter. It just killed Scizor. Because um, after it, Manaphy just came out. So theoretically, it didn't really matter if he missed the Fire Blast. To where it was more detrimental that I got Parahaxed. Because he reverse sweeps me and could wipe my entire team. Nobody on my team outsped that Manaphy. Um, thank God I put up rocks. If I didn't put up rocks, if I didn't get the opportunity to put up rocks, or he had like taunt Rossless lead, dude, I would have been in a pickle. Dude, God bless. Um, next week, though, for the NPA, I am actually going to be, look at this, I'm look at this. Next for the NPA, uh, I'll be fighting MAR. Which is actually, if we look at a team here, uh, I'll probably look at it right after this. Yeah, yeah, I'm fighting MAR. Don't know who that is. I'm gonna have to look at the uh, Google Docs to find out who that is. And I gotta buy afterwards, 
And I actually think I fight E Drive then for the final week. Um, so that's really gonna be it for the video, guys. Thank you so much for watching. Thanks so much for supporting the NPA video, guys. It means a lot. I am them next to up. A like, subscribe. I'll catch you guys later.